today we're smoking chuck roast for a beautiful pulled beef sandwich. So stick around and let me show you how to smoke up this chuck roast to make a fantastic sandwich. We're going to get started here. Uh, wife picked up a chuck roast at, up at HEB the other day and uh, take it out of the package. It's, let's see, 2.75 pounds. So just shy of three pounds. It's a nice looking chuck roast. And folks, anytime you want to cook something kind of low and slow on the pit, any meat that has to be braised will work low and slow on the pit. Little secret for you there. But um, one thing also is, I'm gonna let y'all look at this a little bit. I'm gonna bring y'all in close where y'all can see it and understand what I'm talking about on this chuck roast as far as the shape of it. A lot of times these will have, see how this one has this tail on it? Little pieces that hang out from them. And you really, you have to cut those off to get it to cook evenly. So you don't have to if you do it how I'm fixing to show you. Uh, if you have anything loose like that, tag end right there, yeah, we'll, we'll cut that off. But um, most of this one's not too bad. I'm gonna kind of leave it like it is and I'll go through the process of showing you what I do. So I'm gonna take some of my Maggie seasoning. Y'all seen me use this before as a binder. And I'm just gonna coat this uh, chuck roast with it, flip that over, get the other side. Rub this in some. So it's coated good. And what I'm gonna rub it down with is right here. Sushi's Barbecue Rub. Folks, this is brand new. Uh, just came out the other day. I have used their products before and I actually got to help do a little testing on this product early on. They sent me a variety of barbecue rubs, asked me to make some evaluations for them, tell them what pros and cons. And I sent that back in. This is the one that they chose to go with. And I think it's very good. It's got some sweetness to it, but it also got some chili peppers in there and uh, other spices. So it's a good rub. I'll put a link down below where you can get a discount if you want to pick this up on Amazon and I'll put a link down there for them. But good. Uh, I think it's gonna be great. First time I've put it on anything other than in the test. And they didn't tell us which one it was, but I think I know because I recognize the flavor. But I'm just gonna open this up. We're gonna use this as our bottom side. And I'm gonna coat it real good. This is a nice sized chunk of meat, so it'll hold a lot of seasoning. Get the sides good on it. Turn it over to the top side now. good coating on the top side and as you can see because of the different muscles are in here this is wanting to come apart and it, it they don't hold together great when you do this you kind of can scrunch them up right on the pit that helps but what I'm gonna use is butcher's twine and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around this chuck roast we'll pull that part in tight we were looking at a while ago that was sticking out right Come in here with me. If you had, you know, if you wanted to, you could put a couple of times around it, but I'm gonna go about three twists. And all that does is kind of hold it so when I go to put my knot in it, it doesn't want to slip out quite as easy. Get everything tucked in kind of how I want it. And then I'm just gonna put me a knot in. And now I have a nice tight chuck roast that's gonna cook much more evenly. Uh, let me check the pit, back up, let y'all see it. We're gonna put this on the barrel house cooker today with some mesquite wood. We'll show you that. And then we'll get this on there and we'll see how this barbecue rub from Sushi Spices uh, is on chuck roast. Let's get our uh, roast on now. And take that chuck roast, put it right in the middle. There you have it, chuck roast on the barrel house. About two hours, we're gonna check it, maybe spritz it a little bit. Uh, but I figure this is about a four, four and a half hour cook. About three hours into this cook. The color is perfect. Y'all know if y'all watch me much, I usually wrap to color, not to temp. This one's looking pretty. We're gonna get it off, get it wrapped. Pretty color on it. 
Here we go with our wrap. I'm gonna take some of our rub here, the Suchi's barbecue rub, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit. Ooh, wind's blowing pretty good now. Might oughta put my, might help. Got some chicken broth. Just gonna go in and this is just plain chicken broth. Make a little bit of a boat where it'll catch this. It's gonna pour some chicken broth in here and it's just plain chicken broth, nothing special about it. I just want a little bit of moisture in here. Make a little boat so it doesn't run out. I don't know, maybe quarter, third of a cup, not a whole lot. I'll take our spices again and just sprinkle some across. That moisture will help it stick. Winds died down a little bit, but a little extra seasoning in here. That looks good. And just take this up and wrap it up. That one, take our second layer, bring it over. That's wrapped up. Let's get it back on there. We'll put a probe in it and take this up to about, oh, probably 208. I want to be able to pull it, so I'm gonna take it pretty soft. Our temp gauge is reading 206 right now, so we're real close, but remember, we're gonna go to feel, not to the temperature. That's just a guide for us. So let's get this open, look in here and see how it is. All I'm gonna do is just take my temperature probe and push it in. See if it's, uh, you know, like a hot knife in the butter. That is very, very, very tender. We're gonna take it off. Take our temperature gauge out, grab it. There it goes. We're gonna burp it, let the steam out, let it sit for a little bit, then we'll see if we can make up a sandwich. When I say burp it, this is what I do. I just come in here and you're gonna see there's gonna be plenty of steam coming out of here. And we wanna let that steam out. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see how this, uh, feels without the going through the foil. That is real nice. I tell you what, that, of course, it's real, real, uh, bark's real, real soft. I'm gonna set it back on the pit for a couple of minutes. Let it set that bark for us and uh, get a little bit darker. Then we'll uh, get it back off. Being careful not to lose that au jus, right? Wanna keep that on there. We'll just add a little smoke to it, firm up the bark, and we're gonna make that sandwich. Let's see about getting this uh, off here now. Got on my high heat gloves. Both layers of foil. Oh yeah, I darkened it up a lot. Take this out of the foil for a second. Set it on a pan. Move my au jus. Let's save that au jus, by all means, save that. I come in here and cut my string off. That out of the way. Folks, that is a pretty, pretty chuck roast. Let's see if we can take a piece off here. I bet you I don't even have to cut it. Look at that pretty color. It's that piece, kind of that tag in that was hanging on. That does have some good taste to it. Let's see what we can do here. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's gonna pull.
that meat is pulling off its fat. Let's move that back out of the way. You gotta watch your fat. When you do a chuck roast, you're gonna have some fat in there. So, you've got to uh, pull it back. But look at that. It might have cooked just a little bit longer, may not have hurt it, but tell you what, it's still gonna be tender. And it still is gonna be packed with flavor. That's just that, that natural seam in that chuck roast. Gotta pull some of this off, right? And that's just the nature of doing a chuck roast. But look at that, look at that smoke ring. Got enough now that I can pull it and make a sandwich, so we're gonna do that. You can see I got a nice little amount pulled here. I'm gonna take just a piece of it and dip it in that au jus. Mmm, great flavor. I'm liking the barbecue rub, the suchis. Now remember, I'll put a link below for them. And also, they're gonna give you a hefty discount if you uh, put in my code, and that code will be in the description box. So just click show more, and you can find out how to get this at a, at a discount. But let's uh, move this to the side, get our plate up here so we can put this sandwich together. Open this bun up. Most of y'all know that that's not toasted. I usually always, always toast my bun. I didn't this time, but we're gonna take some barbecue sauce, put it on the bottom. Put it on the top. And I'm going to take my tongs. And what I'm going to do is, is pick up my pulled beef. And I'm going to dip it over here in this au jus. Come back. Drop it on my sandwich. Look at that. Got the au jus dripping. That's all the sauce. I'm not gonna put any more sauce. That au jus on it is fine. I'm gonna sprinkle some onions on. Then a little uh, green cabbage, a little purple cabbage. And that is a pretty sandwich. Get that. Man, it's about time to give this sandwich a try. This is a beautiful sandwich. It's gonna taste good. I don't want that to go to waste, but let's see if I can try this sandwich out. Gotta have that. Gotta get that mouth open this time. Ooh, man. Tell you what, folks. Tremendous chuck roast. The spices on this sushi spice, fantastic. It's got that sweetness, but you got that chili powder in it also. Mm, I am liking it a lot. Got to thank Sushi's for including me in on this. Very nice of them to send this out to me also, but let me be part of the testing to determine which spice was going to be their new barbecue rub. And I'm liking this one a lot. Don't forget, I'm going to have a link below for you to find this and also for you to get a hefty little discount by putting in my code in there. So I'm going to put that code down below. Click more and you'll, uh, where it says show more, click it and then you'll find this down there in the description box. But folks, it was great. Fantastic rub. I've used some of their other spices. They have a lot of them up on Amazon. So, hey, get in there and try some of their spices. But this one's very good. Remember to use my code. Uh, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Always do appreciate it. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And I'm going to see you down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Goodbye, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.